Hey friends, coming up this Sunday is a holiday celebrating one of the most well-known Christians of all time, St. Patrick, who it is thought actually died on March 17th around the year 460 AD. It's really hard to sort out history from legend, but there's a broad consensus about the outline of Patrick's life. He wasn't actually Irish, he was born in England, but as a teenager was captured uh, by, by Irish raiders who took him back to Ireland to be a slave. Now sometime in his, his 20s though, he escaped back to England and studied to be a priest. After he was ordained though, he felt this strong sense to go back to Ireland where he'd been a slave and to both encourage the few Christians who were there and also to proclaim the gospel to the majority of Irish people who at that time were mostly worshipers of nature, you know, the sun, the stars, the seas, that kind of thing. Um, Patrick's great passion though was the Bible's missionary mandate. One historian puts it like this, he says, Patrick saw his whole life's work through the lenses of Matthew 28, the Great Commission, and Acts chapter 1 where Jesus says the disciples will be his witnesses, you know, in Judea, Samaria. Uh, Jerusalem to the ends of the earth. And for Patrick, the ends of the earth was Ireland, where he had a huge impact. He founded monasteries, he ordained priests, he saw thousands of Irish people uh, come to faith in Jesus. And, and, and what's interesting to me is how biographers note how, how Patrick incorporated traditional Irish culture into the ways he presented the gospel. Um, since the Irish like to honor their gods with fire, uh, Patrick used bonfires to, to help them celebrate Easter. Um, some historians even believe that it was Patrick who created what we now call the Celtic cross, like the one that's, that's in our chancel. Um, and that the circle was superimposed on the cross to draw pagans in who would have seen that as a symbol for the sun that they worshiped, but then the missionaries would explain, no, 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 this is a symbol of the halo over Jesus indicating the divinity of the one who died on the cross for their sins. Well, I realize, friends, that for a lot of people, St. Patrick's Day, it's about you know, drinking and shamrocks and leprechauns and, and, and drinking some more. Um, but if you really want to honor Patrick and celebrate what he's about, I would encourage you to join us for worship this Sunday as we worship the Lord that he loved. And also ask the Lord to, to send you, perhaps, out to share the good news of Jesus with someone who as yet doesn't know him. Thanks for your time today, friends.